Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all my everyday makeup routine and I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out here because my eye area usually changes depending on how extra I'm trying to be because some days it will literally just be like mascara and some days it'll be like mascara and bronzer or some days it'll be like mascara and a whole eyeshadow look with like wing liner and like double wings, you know what I mean? So the eye area literally changes on my mood. But the skin and the way I prep my skin for a like no makeup makeup is the same. So without further ado, if you want to see what products I use, what I do to make my skin look smooth without having foundation on, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I already started with my eyebrows done and my eyes done, mainly because that will usually change, um, at least my eyes do, because some days I'm like, ooh, full on wing, and some days I literally will just put bronzer on my eyes and mascara, and so I figured that's kind of basic, um, and you kind of just do like whatever you like to do for your eyes. Again, it really just depends, because some days I'm like full eyeshadow look and sometimes I'm not. Um, so now onto what I do to my skin. Um, this is usually my Monday through Friday. I'm very much a no foundation kind of girl. I like to stick to the very, very basic. So I will usually tone my face, moisturize, and then start applying certain products. So um, again, this might not work for everyone because unless you have my skin type and you know what I mean so take everything I say with a grain of salt um, but again this has been kind of what I've been using in this last year especially because I work in a more like I work in an office setting so if I have to be wearing a mask all day I don't want to have foundation on my skin if that makes sense so some days I won't even add anything just throw a moisturizer on and that's it so today I'm going to show you kind of like a step up from just doing the moisturizer thing but a step under from doing the foundation thing the first thing I'll do is I will tone my face I don't wash my face in the mornings it's kind of weird I stop washing my face in the mornings just because I felt like it was really drying out my skin like the areas that I had more of like a normal type of skin so I decided to stop doing that a long time ago um, and then now I'm hearing that celebrities are saying like oh no I only wash my face at night and in the morning all I do is tone so again do what works for you because I know some people have to wash their face in the night and in the morning just to like control like acne and all that I know that some of these products might be controversial so please um please don't be mad but again this is what works for me so I will go ahead and tone my face um, there are a couple different toners that I like from this brand Thyers um, I will usually get either the unscented or the lavender one or the cucumber one is the ones I've tried you want to get a toner that is alcohol free because if it has alcohol it is going to dry out your skin even more and I will usually put it in a spray bottle and I will just spray that on a cotton pad put it all over my face and that is literally it Next, I will go in with the Bioderma Cream. Um, again, this is like amazing. I haven't had it for too long, but I'm, I love this. And it's it's really small, but it does the job. On to my next step. Again, this is one that switches up for me. So I would say find something that you like and just use that. So for primers, I will usually go in, again, depending on my mood, I will switch it up. So one of my favorites that I can go in right by itself that I have been using since I got it is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. This one, amazing, amazing. I can't say enough things about this one. Like I wish I would have tried it earlier last year. So yeah, this one by itself is amazing. I do find that sometimes it is a dewy primer, so sometimes more towards the end of the day um, I do see like a little bit of shine but nothing like too crazy and then I will also sometimes go in with the poreless putty primer again a hundred percent depends the next one is the elf moisture the elf moisture lock primer this is another one that I can put on just by itself and I know it will keep certain areas not oily but my like regular skin nice and hydrated for days when I know I 100% want to be like matte skin, I will go in with the Revolution Conceal and Fix Mattifying Primer. I've had this since May or April, and I feel like I have used this so many times, 
but there is like still so much product in here again this is more of like a silicone type of primer but I feel like it does a really good job at filling in pores so again if you have big pores this will be your friend in the more like spring summer months when your skin starts to like change again I like the Glossier Future Dew it's an oil hydrating like serum hybrid type of thing this is a little bit more on the pricier side but your skin will love this and sometimes I even put this just at night um, but this will give you like a more glowy look so again if you're going for a matte look don't use this one so once I have chosen a primer I will usually apply the primer and then my next step is I totally skip foundation and concealer and all that um, and I just go straight in with bronzer I like to use a cream bronzer and something that I know sits well on the skin so again depending on what product I use this is normally what I do um, if I'm using one of the sticks I will just go in with the stick and apply it onto my face if I'm using one of the palettes I will use a palette and a brush so I will usually just dip my brush into this and apply this to where my cheekbones would be and then up along the side of my face and on my forehead. I will also use this to contour my nose. I kind of already added some a little earlier but I will just use it to contour my nose and then I like to contour under my lip um, and then I like to kind of go kind of along the jaw Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really just depends. Then I just take some sort of like foundation blending brush. This is like one of the e.l.f. ones and I really like this one. Um, I kind of forgot that I had it and so I was using an Il Maquillage one. But I really like this one because it's small and the Il Maquillage one, it's really big. <sighs> like you can see the size differences. Obviously they're dirty but like this one is a lot bigger and this one's like really tiny so I feel like this is really nice for like getting in here and like doing this area right here again these are like really inexpensive brushes but they are amazing again this is something that takes me like in the morning like 15 minutes at most um, but again it just depends like what I decide to do to the eyes and I'm really just kind of messy with it because the next step is what kind of makes the entire the entire thing okay so now that we're at this step my next thing that I do is I don't apply concealer I don't do any of that all I do is I go in with a loose setting powder I have a couple that are my favorites so I'll show you which ones they are the first one is the Laura Mercier one this has been one of my favorites especially when I do this look I feel like it really makes me look airbrushed without having foundation on does that make sense so that is one of my favorites another one is the Nakia Joy Cosmetics one it's very similar to the Laura Mercier this one is really good for under the eyes though I prefer this one over the Laura Mercier under the eyes and then the last one is kind of a concoction I made um it's a mixture of the RCMA yeah RCMA no color powder and the what is this the Revolution baking powder in the shade banana so all I do is I take some of the powder in the lid and then I take a dry beauty blender tap it into the powder and again all I have under my eyes is the mixture of the moisturizer and the primer or whatever I added under the bronzer um, so all I do is I will use that to set under my eyes and again, all there is is moisturizer there. I will just use the beauty blender and the powder and pack that into my little pore area, up my nose, because my nose is usually what gets oily, and then to the forehead. So some days I will just use the Laura Mercier or some days I'll just use the Nikia Joy. Um, again, you don't need all three of the powders, but because I have them, I kind of like to like mix it <laughs> then again because the Laura Mercier powder and the Nikia Joy powder are a little bit more on the pricier side I like to use the RCMA and my little concoction here um, just because this is way cheaper but it it does the job and then I will just take a nice fluffy brush and I will dip it into the top it usually gets a lot of powder so I will just kind of tap it out and all I'm going to do is buff this into my skin. This is also going to help blend all the powders together. And I will just do this to the entire face. Now if you look at my skin, it's going to look a lot more 
soft, I think. I don't know if the camera's gonna pull that up, but like in the mirror and like looking at myself in real life, it looks very soft. Now from here, I will usually go back in with a bronzer just because, again, I don't have very defined cheekbones, but I like to pretend I do. So I will just hit my cheekbones with a little bit of color. And I like to layer like the cream with a powder just because I feel like it makes it last longer, if that makes sense. And I usually, I don't have really long days, but if I know I'm gonna like go out later, then it's nice to know that like my makeup will still be in place. I don't do too much to the nose because I feel like it's a little a little intense because I, I double bronzed my nose today. And then oddly enough, I will go in with a shimmery bronzer. This one is by Rimmel. It's their natural bronzer. And if you look at it really closely, it does have like glitter in it. I don't know. I just feel like it gives you like an illumination. So I like to kind of add it just to the tops of my like forehead and almost like above my eyebrow. And that is that. Then I will go in with a blush. I will either go in with a cream blush or a powder blush. Um, lately I've been into powder blushes. Uh, and then I kind of went back to my Milani Luminoso <laughs> Obsessed. Um, because also every time I wear it, people are like, oh, your cheeks are so like rosy. And I'm like, oh, I take it as a compliment. I don't think it's an insult. I hope it's not an insult. So yeah, but also this gives you like a very nice sheen it's not glittery but it does have like a nice pretty sheen to it and I like to just put it up here again I have a more rounder face so your placements might have to be a little different but I like to put it up here and then I they say you're not supposed to do this when you have like a rounder face but I really like to put it on the apples on my cheeks I just like like a really rosy look and then if it's the winter, I will dust a little bit on my nose, um, but if not, I won't. And then something someone was saying was to put a little bit of blush on your temples and like up above your brow if you have a round face. And I was like, ooh, let me try that. I've been doing it recently and I feel like that does kind of like, I don't know. Sometimes like makeup placement is like really weird, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> And then lastly, I will go in with the highlighter because again, even though I like a matte face, I still like to look somewhat glowy. This has been one of my favorites recently, but when I put my more natural makeup, I like to get a highlighter that's not as glittery. Does that make sense? Like I want one that's like really, really fine. So this one is Stunner by Tarte. And I like this one because again, it it's just a very like, it's very subtle. It doesn't it doesn't look like, oh, there's glitter on her face. You know, like I have my Anastasia one that I really like, um, the Nicole Guerrero palette. That one is for sure like disco ball, right? But this one really gives you like a nice glowy look. So I just, again, apples on my cheeks, which you can see in the camera. And then I like to put it on my nose and then kind of just up here. And then I always highlight above my brow. I don't know why. I just think it, it looks pretty. And then depending on how crazy I'm feeling. I'll either highlight my cupid's bow or highlight my chin. Again, just to kind of add like glowiness so I don't look like matte matte. Oh, and then lastly, I will just put a setting spray, um, especially because we added all these powders on top of the cream. The like piece de resistance <laughs> to me has always been when you apply your setting spray. Um, it can be a cheap setting spray or it can be an expensive setting spray. I've been using this um, Rimmel one recently and I just shake it and this is mainly just to get all the powders and everything to kind of just infuse together. Um, again, I add a ton of setting spray. And then what I think usually completes it is to do something to your lips. So I will either add a little bit of color or something like that. Let's hope I don't like it too dark. I normally don't line my lips or anything like that. Again, unless I know I'm going out or something along those lines, I don't really like do much. And then I will just um, put a gloss. I'm a gloss girl. Like give me a nice sticky gloss, 100% me. Again, if I'm wearing a mask 
if I know I'm gonna be have to be wearing a mask I don't really do anything to my lips because it's just gonna end up on the mask anyways I've talked about this lip glosses before they're the ones by um, Revolution again I just like to mix a little bit of a color with the next gloss and we're good to go so I hope you all enjoyed this video thank you again for coming back and just supporting me I really appreciate it um, don't forget if you're not subscribed please subscribe um, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if it was helpful to you in any way, please let me know. I'd love to know. And if you guys have any questions on anything I talked about or anything I mentioned, you can always leave a comment down below or you can reach out to me on my other social media platforms. I usually have them all linked down below. We got TikTok, we got Instagram, we've got everything else. So if you want to know what else I'm doing besides YouTube, you can go look down there. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Again, don't forget to subscribe subscribe if you're not. Okay, I will see you on the next one. Bye. <sighs> Listen, I don't always do my hair, but when I do, she doesn't want to cooperate. I feel like one of these days I'm going to end up choking myself with my necklaces. They get all tangled. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hoy me desperté romántica con ganas de decirte lo que siento. Do we just need like a... <laughs> Today I'm going to be sharing my... Anímate verás como no te arrepientes. It's like random hair. You know, I cut my hair and I still haven't had it fixed and I think my mom really needs to. She really needs to. No sé, tú fuiste como estás.